a plasma gasifier is not an incinerator. It doesn't burn waste, it disassembles it. The process starts long before the reactor even lights. Waste arrives at the plant, sorted and shredded into a uniform mixture called refuse derived fuel, RDF. Metals are removed for recycling, moisture is reduced, and the feedstock is calibrated to ensure consistency, because a plasma reactor thrives on precision. When that pre-treated waste enters the reactor, it meets a jet of plasma, an ionized gas so hot that molecules can no longer exist. Created by a plasma torch, this jet reaches temperatures of 5000 to 10,000 degrees Celsius. It's a man-made bolt of lightning, harnessed and directed with surgical control. At these temperatures, organic materials, plastics, paper, food waste, break apart at the atomic level. Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms are stripped from one another, forming a swirling, luminous plasma cloud. Within milliseconds, they begin recombining into simpler molecules, mostly hydrogen, H2, carbon monoxide, CO, and traces of methane, CH4. This mixture is called syngas, short for synthesis gas, the primary product of plasma gasification. But the secret to turning this into green hydrogen lies in what happens next. The syngas exits the plasma zone and moves into a quench chamber, where it's rapidly cooled to stop unwanted reactions. If cooled too slowly, complex hydrocarbons can form again, reducing hydrogen yield. So engineers cool it in milliseconds, freezing its composition in a high hydrogen state. Next, it enters the gas cleaning train. Here, acid gases like hydrogen chloride, HCl, and sulfur dioxide, SO2, are scrubbed out using neutralizing solutions. Particulates and metals are filtered through bag houses. Tar residues are cracked or reformed back into syngas, ensuring nothing goes to waste. At this point, the syngas is clean enough for the water gas shift reaction, one of the most important steps in hydrogen production. By adding steam, engineers convert carbon monoxide into more hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The reaction is elegantly simple, CO plus H2O CO2 plus H2. Each molecule of CO sacrificed gives birth to another molecule of hydrogen, a reaction that transforms waste gas into a high-purity hydrogen source. After the shift stage, the gas mixture contains as much as 50 to 60 percent hydrogen. It's then purified through pressure swing adsorption, PSA, where hydrogen molecules are separated from other gases under alternating pressure conditions. The result? Fuel cell grade hydrogen, typically above 99.999 percent purity, clean enough to power hydrogen vehicles, turbines, or industrial furnaces. So, in less than 60 seconds, Household trash has gone from solid waste to invisible hydrogen, the lightest, cleanest fuel in existence. But what about the materials that can't be gasified, glass, metals, minerals? These melt into a molten, glassy byproduct called vitrified slag at the bottom of the reactor. When cooled, it forms shiny black stones that are completely inert and non-leaching. Far from being waste, this slag can be used in road construction or building blocks. The plasma gasifier leaves behind almost nothing to landfill. The system's efficiency comes from its closed-loop thermodynamics. The high temperature guarantees almost total molecular conversion, while heat exchangers recover waste heat to preheat feedstock or generate power. Some designs even integrate microturbines that run on part of the syngas to produce the electricity needed for the plasma torch, reducing external power demand. This is the difference between a waste-to-energy plant and a waste-to-hydrogen plant. A conventional incinerator burns refuse for electricity, releasing CO2 in the process. A plasma gasifier extracts hydrogen, an energy carrier, that can store renewable power, feed fuel cells, or synthesize green ammonia. It turns waste into a fuel of the future instead of a fleeting spark of electricity. The 10,000 degrees Celsius plasma zone may sound extreme, but it's the secret to cleanliness. At lower temperatures, tar and toxins can form. At plasma level heat, those molecules disintegrate completely. Even persistent organic pollutants like dioxins are destroyed within microseconds. The process is so complete that air emissions are minimal, mainly water vapor and CO2, which can be captured for further use. Some critics question whether such high temperatures waste energy. Yet the math tells a different story. The plasma torch may consume 1.2 to 2.0 megawatt hours of electricity per ton of waste, but the resulting syngas can yield 2.5 to 4.0 megawatt hours of usable energy. When optimized with heat recovery and carbon capture, plasma gasification becomes net energy positive, meaning it generates more energy than it uses. 
This balance is what makes it so promising for green hydrogen. The reactor doesn't depend on fossil fuels. It can run entirely on renewable electricity, solar during the day, wind at night. That makes the hydrogen it produces not only low carbon, but truly renewable. As cities struggle with mounting waste and the need for clean energy, the plasma gasifier stands as a bridge between two crises. It consumes what we throw away and outputs what the future demands. Every discarded plastic bag becomes a potential molecule of hydrogen. Inside these reactors, you can witness a kind of modern alchemy, the transformation of entropy into order. The plasma isn't just fire, it's a tool of molecular engineering. It separates atoms, cleanses impurities, and creates a universal fuel from society's leftovers. To understand its scale, imagine a single mid-sized plasma facility processing 100,000 tons of waste per year. That's the equivalent of diverting the annual garbage of 200,000 people. From that waste, the plant can generate 10 to 15 million kilograms of hydrogen annually, enough to fuel a fleet of 1,000 hydrogen trucks, each driving 100,000 kilometers per year. And all of it comes from material that used to rot in landfills, leaching toxins and releasing methane. Plasma gasification closes that loop completely. It doesn't just make green hydrogen, it makes waste disappear. If the 20th century was the age of combustion, the 21st is the age of plasma. Fire burns, plasma rebuilds. It's energy without destruction, chemistry without pollution. And in the context of hydrogen, it's the missing link that connects circular waste systems to clean energy networks. Inside the plasma gasifier, the laws of physics are rewritten for sustainability. Waste isn't the end of a product's life, it's the beginning of hydrogens. By the time the process ends, the hydrogen molecules released from yesterday's garbage are already on their way to tomorrow's economy, flowing through pipelines, stored in tanks, or powering vehicles. What began as a banana peel, a water bottle, or a plastic bag ends as the purest fuel known to humankind. This is the hidden world inside the plasma gasifier, a world where chaos becomes clarity, where trash becomes transformation, and where green hydrogen is born in the heart of a 10,000 degree storm. Explore how plasma gasification and other green hydrogen technologies are shaping the next generation of energy projects at H2 Hub. ReneEnergy.com, your hub for hydrogen feasibility, finance, and modeling tools.